So the purpose of the event was to conduct a raid in order to support VMX-1 or the Kilo 53s. On the squad level, some of the expectations were to be fluid, smooth, and fast out of the bird. My squad in particular, we like to uh, make sure that everything's perfect. And with a new squad, new platoon, especially through Ibex, it's good to have us pushing to be a higher standard. And that's what we're pushing for. So our expectation, I would say, is to get to a higher standard and make everyone else in the Marine Corps follow what we do. The UTVs were, were really cool, we putting them on there. And you know, the, the crew chiefs, everyone, I believe, did their job great yesterday from the lowest level to the highest level. The 53s also, we thought we were gonna have to roll down UTVs and compact everything. Wasn't the case. U 53s were, had a lot of space in them. We were able to successfully be in and out of the 53s at a moment's notice. It was smooth. Marines who had never ridden on a tower before to the most experienced Marines feel something and feel safe in that, in that environment. I think that was very good, and I think that we should continue to use, use those. The event that was conducted today was an air assault raid that basically led into uh, the securing of a, an LZ, a landing zone for uh, follow-on forces. The purpose of the event was primarily to uh, have the platoon get uh, a rep at, you know, getting on and off uh, helicopters and kind of letting them see uh, what challenges and planning factors that go into, you know, utilizing air assets uh, during the, the conduct of, uh, you know, offensive or defensive schemes of maneuver. Additionally, we were supporting the new experimental CH-53 kilos uh, and helping them to gather data on, you know, how having troops actually loaded up in full kit feels flying. And additionally, we loaded up uh, small vehicles onto the birds themselves and to let the, the pilots kind of figure out uh, the idiosyncrasies of flying with um, vehicles on board as well. The CH-53s have a higher lift capacity. Um, in addition, they have the better ability to fit troops on board as well as uh, their gear and better um, ability to actually lift you know, things like vehicles or ammo, things of that nature. My expectations going in, um, you know, we, we are early on in our workup, so we haven't had too much time together. We're approximately been together for about two months. However, you know, all I wanted to see my Marines do was uh, take commander's intent and act violently off of that commander's intent. So um, and I, I would say that they did that. I would say that doing events like this helps us figure out uh, you know, going forward, how we can fully utilize all the assets that are, will be coming to, you know, all of the Marine Corps here in the future. Um, you know, as the experimental battalion, we're kind of tasked with, uh, you know, figuring out what exactly the Marine Corps will look like in the, in the near future and how we can actually integrate all of the new assets and equipment um, to, you know, execute and uh, go out and close with and destroy the enemy.